I paid someone on Fiverr to create my website for me for $200. And actually it was $220 to be exact. And that's actually not that bad of a deal. I mean, you're going to see some examples of websites that this person created for the exact amount on Fiverr. Question is, why would you do this? Why would someone do this when you could possibly even do it yourself? Well, let's just say you're new to Shopify. Shopify can be very difficult at first when you're first trying to learn how to use it. There are a bunch of tutorials online that you could take a look at but it's still your head could be spinning as to what you want to create and just need the extra person the extra you know input on fiverr all these people are very experienced these people are very experienced as to how websites are built and this was a very great experience for me to kind of you know take a step back and let someone create a Shopify store for me. Another reason why you could be doing this also is because you're just busy and you need the time and you need someone else to set the shop up for you. And that's something that a lot of people do as well. So without further ado, let's get into all of this right now. Of course, I have an affiliate link in the description if you want to try this out for yourself. So my very top freelance site is Fiverr and my very top company to create a website as well is Shopify because of the ease of use and a bunch of other things as well, which I can explain in other videos, but this is just for hiring someone on Fiverr for $220. What I would recommend for you is to, is to create a blueprint for this freelance Shopify web designer to create your website for you. Definitely provide a clear blueprint as to what your products and what they should be, the descriptions of the products, as well as any pictures or a FAQ page, you know, any drop down menus, anything in your homepage, which is by far one of the most important things on your website, if not the most important, as well as any feedback from customers. And really, it, depending on who you hire, it can actually be a lot cheaper possibly as well to have a website designed. And it could even cost you about $125 to have a website designed as well. I had a lot more that I needed to put on my particular website. He charged me, you know, a, a bit like about $120 more than the normal charge, you know, for others that have been using his service, which is completely fine. I was totally fine with paying a little bit more. So let's take a look at one of the shops that he designed. Woman's collection, we have anklets right here. Let's take a look at the homepage. As you could see, it's a very nice photo right when you uh, get onto the website. This is good too. You see added free shipping on all UK orders. That is something that I would recommend. The product descriptions are very well put together. All of our questions are uh, asked and answered for the most part. And the I have to say the homepage looks fantastic. All of the items for the most part that we would be interested are right there on the homepage. And we also have gifts for him as well. So we have a few things. I do have to say some of our prices are very low and I would not to have prices at, as low as that. I would also not recommend putting a shop all title on the homepage as well. That's just something I would not recommend 50 pages right here on products and there's 1044 products in this one store that's way too much it's it's just on overload if you were going to have a jewelry site then i would only limit it to about kind of five or six different products possibly even less than that normally what i like to do is i just like to have one product like a one product store but if you were going to have a store that just sticks to one particular niche, which this does, that does a very good job of doing that, of sticking to one niche, I would only limit it. I would only limit it to a few items for either women or men's. And I would also just stick to, like, like I said, just a few products in each niche. Or if you were going to sell, let's just say earrings, I would just sell earrings and I would have a few other items as well, like possibly belly rings as a as another item on the shop. That's really all I would do at this point. I mean, it's it's not really a good look. The product images are nice. They don't look like they're from AliExpress uh, in terms of the product images. And in terms of the product images, they're fine. But the, the problem is the price is just very low. I would not be buying from this site because I would be expecting a very crappy product. If you price in these items way too low, it's just not a good look for you. Plus, you also have the title of the website trendysavers.com. It sounds very cheap. Also, the, the logo is crap too. I would, I would not recommend having a logo like that. The website itself, the homepage, looks great. You know, it really does. I mean, the, these items, they do look very nice in these product descriptions. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of these images, I would, will have to digress. They do look they, like they came from AliExpress, but they do look nice. And they do um, have consistency. And that's something you also want to have, too, when you're designing a website, is you want consistency. Definitely want consistency. I would... And, and then you go over, this is horrible. You go over to bestsellers and it just has one product on bestsellers. So you have a, so basically what they're saying is they have a thousand products, but only one is a bestseller. I mean, is anybody even on this site to begin with? It's not good. It's a horrible look. In terms of sales, I don't have those numbers. I mean, I'm going to be very clear. This is not my website. This is some, this is a website that someone designed on Fiverr. It's a very similar website to the one that I had designed. And this was an example website that was given to me. However, it is an active website and it is a website that is running right now. You can buy things on this website as far as I could tell. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily trust this website because when you have tax included on here also and free shipping, very suspicious, um, very sus. One best-selling item, a uh, watermark on these images also, which I would not recommend. I, I wouldn't recommend putting a watermark on these images, especially when you're getting these items from AliExpress. You don't need a watermark. I'm sorry to be so negative, but... The more I look at this website, the more I'm not liking it. But again, the homepage looks great. You know, decent looking products and product images, I have to say, and great product descriptions. But I have to rate this website a two stars out of 10 because you're just not going to sell items on here. You know, it's just not something I recommend. You, you, I would recommend personally a one product store, but even if you're going to sell a bunch of jewelry and all these things, price up the jewelry. Make it seem like these products are worth something to you and the customer. And if you're selling garbage, people don't want that. They don't want garbage. They could just buy these items themselves on, you know, like a dropshipping site like AliExpress or something. I would not shop on here i would be clicking off right away it's just not something i would do it is interesting though to see a website that costs 200 dollars, you know and it wasn't bad i mean don't get me wrong like in terms of the act the initial design of the website he did a very good job so on fiverr he did a very good job of you know designing this website <sighs> the actual website and what they were selling was just not not good uh, the design of it not terrible i mean I, there's a lot to be desired like i was saying so on the next video we're going to be taking a look at another drop shipping site as well thank you everybody so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one